What's going on, guys? This is Miosin, and welcome to my updated Dragon Link deck profile. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I'm not a pro with this deck, so this is really just me trying my best. So if anyone has, like, feedback or anything, let me know. Let us all know in the comment section below. And of course, before this video starts, make sure you like and subscribe. Really motivates me a lot to keep making videos like these. And now let's jump right into it. So the only hand trap that I'm playing is Gamma. Well, the, the package, Gamma and the one driver. Love this card. I had the best card to see. Oh, man. And Forbidden Drop as the other utility card. This card you can actually also draw in your combo off of Chaos Space and other stuff like that. Nocto Vision. So I think it is better to play cards that you can see like when you deck thin and then draw rather than cards that kind of have to be in your opening hand. So you can still break boards if you draw this later on. And the thing about Gamma is that it also increases the consist consistency of your deck. Because if you use, let's say, Chaos Space or Ravine Effect in order to search or something and your opponent goes ash you can go gamma and then make needle fiber there and then summon the rocket synchron make striker dragon get the boot sector launch and then you can probably play from there so yeah resolving gamma on your own turn is game and resolving gamma on your opponent's turn is also pretty game and this is a light attribute well all of these cards are light attributes so you can excavate them with chaos ruler the chaotic magical dragon and one final thing is that they work well with chaos space so I wouldn't play Ash because it's a fire, so the attribute is just way too random. You can't discard it for Chaos Space, you can't excavate it with Ruler. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the reasoning behind the Gamma package. And then Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, I think this card, basically everyone plays it. So this is nothing too spicy. Chaos Dragon Levinier, I'm not playing Omni Dragon Brotor in this deck anymore because the LP got banned, so summoning the Brotor from the deck and then searching this is a little kind of hard to do so this card you can still run it as a one of it's pretty nice because the ravine can send it from the deck to the grave and then you can banish safer from your graveyard to recycle back the levineer and then levineer your opponent for like three darks which makes your opponent lose a random card from the hand or for three lights which is the monster reborn effect but good luck getting there i see the deck plays like way more darks than it plays lights uh, so yeah and then two noctovasion dragon honestly i think in the 40 card deck list you can even play three Noctovision Dragon now. I know in the 60 card version, everybody played three Noctovision, but I just didn't want to see this card in like duplicates when my hand wasn't good enough. I think that's the same logic behind playing only one Absol Router Dragon, but regardless, I mean, it really is up to you. Again, I'm not a massive pro with this deck. I didn't really copy this deck list either from someone else. So this is just really like my imagination trying my hardest. And this is what I came up with. And uh, two Seyfert, great normal summon, but this deck also has another, well, a lot of other cards that could be normal summons, such as sometimes the Rocket Monsters or Chamber Dragon Maid. As a matter of fact, when you have Rockets in your hand, it doesn't matter what your normal summon is, because if you can go to Striker Dragon and then search the Boot Sector Launch to summon all the other Rocket Monsters, they always are pretty good. Anyways, the two Baby Dragons, that's a no-brainer. These cards are completely broken. I believe they're still not banned. Imagine if they were both like unlimited at 3 3. Oh my god, this would have been ridiculous. But yeah, one Absol Router again, relatively same logic for the two Noctovision. It can be break key. When it's not, then it's pretty good. But regardless, it can also be foolish with the Ravine, which is searchable, anyways. So yeah, whatever. Again, it's up to you if you want to play more. One Rocket Caliber. I showcased a combo with this card in my combo video. But if you don't want to play with this card, then sure. But it's a level 4 tuner that can summon itself. And it's a rocket monster, so it can come up, to be honest. And then 3 rocket tracer. 2 is also a very respectable number. And then 2 rocket synchron. That's a great normal summon. And also it's a level 1 tuner. And a card that you can summon off of needle fiber. So in other words, this plus chaos ruler can make the hot red. And there are some other cool stuff. So this, this card is just overall very good. In top deck mode, this is one of the best cards to draw. And then the one Rocket Recharger, I don't think playing two is super great, but it could be a possibility, so uh, do keep that in mind. And finally, three Chamber, I'm not playing Hospitality anymore. I think it's a pretty good card, but it's a break when you don't have Chamber access. So I think just playing three Chamber with three Tidying might be enough if I'm already playing a lot of other Dragon cards. So for the most part, this deck looks pretty consistent. And then for the spell cards, Boot Sector Launch with Ravine. These cards, again, are super, super obvious. 3 Cal Space, 3 Forbidden Drop, 3 Quick Launch, 3 World Legacy Guard Dragon, and yeah, 3 Tidying. Alright, for the extra deck, I'm playing the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Fun fact, this card can also revive back Tuners from your grave when you inflict battle damage with it. So, you can revive back your Caliber, your Rocket Tracer, your Rocket Synchron, etc. This A lot of people actually forget that this card even does that. 
Yes, it's not just an Omni Negate. And yeah, Chaos Ruler, this card's completely broken. If you're playing more ways to get access to Levinier, you can also play Zombie Stein. So this is like an infinite uh, recursion card because it never really gets banished. It gets kind of, uh, it goes underneath and exceeds monsters. So when it falls off, it goes to the graveyard instead. So very similar to um, Salamangrid Spinny in a way. And yeah, Boral Savage Dragon, of course. Uh, Boral and the Dragon. We're going to get this card very soon. Probably after the ban list. I don't know. I actually have no idea. Before or after the ban list. They're probably going to drag it on for uh, way longer. But yeah. Boral Sword Dragon, Appaloosa, Delinjus Dragon, Neural Fiber, Romulus, Quad Boral. Ha, triple Hieratic Seal, Pisty Striker Dragon. So literally everything here is like way too self-explanatory. But the three Hieratic Seal. I mean, this card is just so ridiculously overpowered. That you really always want to... Like, uh, have access to this card at all times. If you have to, like, grind with your opponent, this card is the best card to, like, pass your turn on, even if you're ending on no other negates, because not only is this a non-targeting, non-destructive removal, but it summons any dragon from your deck, so it really is the best replacement for PSTF, or sorry, LP getting banned. It really doesn't feel like we lost LP, and there are also some ways you can trigger this second effect on your own turn. But you would have to, like, go Tribute Summon over the Hieratic Seal, which is just not really the best. So, yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the extra deck. And for the idea section, <laughs> just look at this, man. Oh, my. What, what, what is this? A Morphage Goliath. This is probably not a surprise to anyone. But you can summon a Morphage Goliath off of the Hieratic Seal second effect. And uh, that would be, like, an extra deck lock for your opponent. So if your opponent had to waste his battle phase and can't jump over the Goliath anymore, this is going to be game. And if you have, like, Harbinger on top of that, you can protect your Goliath. So this is actually pretty scary. Uh, Pancratops for going second. I don't know why this is, would be in my idea section. I mean, it's not a side deck again. A lot of people sometimes ask me, oh my god, why do you have those weird cards in your side deck? Yes, I, I would definitely be citing these cards in an actual YCS. <laughs> Anyways, Phantasmate. This is actually a dragon. So you can search it with Seyford by pitching, let's say, Absorado Dragon. But this format, I think Link Summoning is just not great enough. So I wouldn't even bother. And then, yeah, the hand traps that I said I wouldn't play. Even Droll, I mean, it's Wind, Ghost Bell, Earth, and then Ash, Fire. Valor would probably be one of the better ones to play, I guess. And it's also a level 1 tuner. Not too bad. Uh, Droll and Logbird, though, at least is high ceiling against the combo decks. And Omni Dragon, Broto World, we kind of explained it. Zombie Stein, same thing, but you don't have any enough level 8 monsters to go along the Chaos Ruler. And yeah, I used to play more than one Pisty. You can also play more than one Romulus. That would also be a possibility and a second Boral Savage, I guess. But I don't know if it's really worth it. <laughs> and finally, uh, more cards like Cosmic Cyclone, Call by the Grave, and Pearl Order. Not that it really matters, though, to be honest. Again, most of these cards are super obvious. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this Dragon Link deck profile. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon.